Hi, welcome to the premiere episode of the transgender community's new show, Transforming Media. My name is Ashley and I am so delighted to be your guide as we explore different issues in media affecting the transgender community and meet some of the individuals involved in shaping them. We'll be looking at the politics and activism affecting our community, meeting some of the personalities behind the scenes and give you a chance to see us as we see ourselves rather than how mainstream media depicts us. We'll be interviewing different transgender artists, celebrities, politicians, and just some amazing people. And we'll be going to different events, and we'll be inviting you to come with us. And we'll even be having live performances here at the show. So expect to be inspired, enlightened, entertained, and educated. I know I'm really excited. So let's get started. And now it's time for the Transforming Hollywood segment. A few weeks ago, Candace Kane hosted the San Francisco GLAAD Awards. Her and I had a chance to hang out at the after party. She announced at the show that she is going to be continuing her role as Carmelita in the second season of Dirty Sexy Money. On the show, Carmelita is the trans woman love interest of Billy Baldwin's character, Patrick Darling, who is running to become a U.S. Senator. This is the first time, people, the first time that a trans woman had ha has had a recurring role on prime time. Always in the past, actors and actresses who were not trans played the role of a trans woman. So, seeing one of our own reflected back on us is a giant leap in the authentic portrayals of our community on television. Carmelita's storyline has been a powerful addition to the series. Carmelita is shown as loving Patrick, but he wishes to keep their relationship secret due to her being transsexual. Patrick is definitely not ashamed of her. He's just scared of a media frenzy should the relationship go public. But what I really like about it is that they show Patrick having genuine feelings for her and not just being with her because she's forbidden fruit or some type of novelty. They show him truly loving her for her spirit. They really show a connectedness between the two. I'm just hoping that next season that they show the two disregard what others think and have a big public wedding. Love can conquer fear. I know it. Now writers, please show it. Candace also hosted Logo's first annual New Now Next Awards earlier this month which highlight the best of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender pop culture across all media, including film, TV, music, and web. And on top of that, she won an award, too. She won the Brink of Fame Award, and she totally deserved it. Keep on looking good, Candace. Janet Jackson also won a new Now Next Award. She won the Always Next Forever Now Award given to her as an icon of the LGBT community. But get this, in her acceptance speech for the award, she said of all the awards that she has received, the one that touched her the most are the ones given to her from the LGBT community. It is so touching that she finds her relationships with the community that meaningful. I was able to catch up with her last month at LA's GLAAD Awards, where she also won the Vanguard Award, and I was able to express my thanks to her for everything she has done for our community. Janet has always used her fame not just to test boundaries, but to genuinely help people. And for that, she has deserved everything that she has gotten. So thank you, Janet. By now, I know you're eager to learn more about the trans community, and I know a great way that you can. Recently, I co-created an online interactive video in association with Logo and Media Advocates Giving National Equality to Trans, Magnet. The name of the project is called LGB to the T, A to Z which is a trans community educational digi-series that are entertaining as well devised by Magnet in collaboration with Logo. Magnet worked closely with Logo to generate a complete alphabet for the trans community covering significant people, hi historical events, current issues and terms for the movement. 
Each letter is individual two-minute webisodes. In the segments, I am dressed up as a professor in a classroom and deliver each letter and its corresponding trans alphabet definition. Transsexual icon and star of the logo series Trans American Love Story, Calperni Adams, activist and co-star Andrew James, and hilarious host Alec Mappa follow my educational tone with light-hearted commentary on each topic. Two other LGB to the T digit series are currently in the works, so please stay tuned. LGB to the T A to Z is available at www.logoonline.com. I am so happy that Logo continues to use the entertainment industry as a successful means to educate society about the transgender community, especially since our community has become so visible in the media. Working on this project fulfilled a dream of mine, which was to promote positive awareness of the transgender community into mainstream media. The producers from Logo, who made this dream come true, were an inspiration to me, and I am a better person through that experience. So thank you so much. In two weeks, our episode is going to be covering Frameline, which is the largest and oldest LGBT film festival in the world. And so we'll be going to their opening night gala, and we'll also be going to their event, Transtastic, which is going to be a transgender-themed event with eight different transgender short films, followed by a Q&A with the filmmakers. The organization I'm affiliated with, Magnet, is also co-presenting Transtastic, so I will be giving a presentation on Magnet, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you are interested in commenting on this show, or you want to be involved, or if you have any story ideas, or if you just want to say hi, or tell me your story, or ask me a question, email me at transformingmedia at yahoo.com. And now I'm going to say something that I've been wanting to say for many years now, and that is, see you at our next show. <laughs> Bye now.